I'm Adam Sussman, Director of Research at Tab Group, joined by Gabe Lowey, CEO of Tectonics. Gabe, we've collaborated on, on some research together, the, the most recent being on managed services. Yes. And we're here today at our annual Market Tech event, and on one of the panels, um, you know, there was a, a buy-side firm that expressed a lot of concerns about the use of the cloud or even managed services um, and really pointed to security as one of the one of the reasons why he is hesitant to deploy um, in that kind of environment. Um, you know, on a paper that we've just worked on together, we looked at some of the things that managed services providers are bringing uh, in order to lay those concerns. Can you can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, security is actually one of the areas that uh, firms don't need to worry about. Uh, because a lot of managed service providers have implemented best practices uh, that meet or exceed both government and industry standards. Uh, they keep all of the uh, customer and client data separate. Uh, they have redundant systems for backup and failover. They're monitoring the systems on a real-time basis, uh, looking for any type of uh, malware that might cross the system. So I, I think a case could be made that uh, global managed service providers uh, actually provide a more secure environment than a lot of firms can do themselves. Interesting. So the, you know, if you're really paranoid, you should actually be using the cloud um, because you might even be getting better protection uh, within that environment than perhaps within your own network that may not have all of the, the features and functionality that you just discussed. Yes, because malware is a constant and it's always changing and there's always new ways intruders are trying to, uh, to worm their way into your systems. So it's very hard for an individual IT team to stay on top of that and protect against it, whereas a managed service provider has the scale right. uh, that can go across all of these different uh, types of new malware and guard against it more effectively. So yeah, that's interesting. So in, in a way, security as a managed service is a additional benefit when you when you wind up going to that kind of platform. I think so. Yeah. It, it, it really is a misperception, of, particularly in the financial services industry, that they can't go to a managed service because it lacks the security that they need. And I would argue that certainly the global managed service providers uh, have more hardened security policies in place than many of the firms do themselves. So given that, um, where do we see traction within financial services and its adoption of managed services? I mean, it's certainly available for just about everything, um, but you know, when we, when we go out and we talk with firms, where, where do you think that there's uh, some take up? Well, the first, the first areas are where it's easy to take cost out on commodity services that don't add a lot of value. So it's, it's been gradually moving from back office types of functions uh, in more recent years to middle office. Now they're starting to examine more front office. And a lot of forward thinking firms or startup firms that don't have legacy systems in place are comfortably running their business off yep. of a managed service provider. Uh, so it's, it's definitely expanding. If I had to quantify it, uh, I'd say on average the industry is somewhere in the 30% range now, but we 30%. think 30% adoption of Got managed it. services. Uh, but within the next two to three years, we expect that uh, that adoption will rise to 50%, maybe even higher. And so, um, you know, cost savings are great. Um, you know, there there is a lot of um, excess cost and duplication uh, within the industry. Um, but typically it takes even more than that uh, to get a bank or a, or a hedge fund to, to agree. I mean, what are the other benefits or what is the, a primary other benefit of, of using a managed service from your conversations with these folks? Well, certainly uh, you, you get to scale out much faster and more economically than you can do yourself. It doesn't make sense to build yet another data center. Uh, but What's more exciting and what could drive the growth uh, down the line is where the managed service provider starts to contribute more to alpha. Uh, and this is in areas like uh, analytics, 
uh, predictive analytics. I mean, think about the funnel of market data globally right. that they're looking at. They can condense that, process that on a much broader platform more efficiently and really start to add incremental insights tailored to what the particular strategies are of their clients. A lot of the big firms are afraid to do that. They still like to treat that as proprietary. But again, we're seeing that a lot of the smaller, newer startups that don't have that legacy mentality or that clutch the data type of mentality are finding that uh, they can compete very effectively with the larger firms because they're leveraging these advanced capabilities uh, of a managed service provider. Alpha in the cloud, right? Alpha in the cloud. That's Excellent. subject for uh, another paper down the line. Excellent. Well, uh, thanks for joining me. My Gabe Lowey, CEO of Tectonics. Adam Sussman with TAP. Thanks, Gabe. Thank you.